This video is going to be on something that's been highly requested for a while now and something that I've wanted to do myself as well. This video is going to be me trying to explain Goo Manager and how it's incorporated with Twerp the best I can. Now first thing you want to do is open up the Google Play Store if you do not have it and search for Goo Manager. It's the first thing that you see. Just click install. We're going to go ahead and open it. First time you open it, it's going to ask for root permission. There's literally like so many things to explain. That's not saying it's complicated by any means. It's actually very simple. If you're rooted, then this app will do pretty much anything and everything you need to do with your phone ever. If you're not rooted, then this app will do you nothing. Go out there. Are you recording? Yeah. Damn it, I beat your score. First of all, if you're rooted, you need to go up here and press menu and then choose install open script recovery and press yes. And then it's going to tell you what recovery is available for your device. It's only going to install Twerp Recovery and it's always going to install the latest one. I've booted into recovery several times so I know for a fact that I have 220. If you have 212 or any other previous version, you're going to want to make sure that you press yes, wait for it to count down, and there it is at the top of your notifications. It's a very small file so it downloads rather quickly and it says recovery has been installed. If you're coming from any other lesser recovery, it will probably reboot your device and it won't ask you to confirm it or anything. It'll just randomly reboot on you. So make sure that while you're installing recovery, you're not downloading anything else or doing something that can't be interrupted. It'll reboot, it'll pop up a little like screen and it'll reboot you into your bootloader. It'll install it using their little automated method. And then when you reboot your system, it'll come back to Google Manager and you'll be able to push your boot and go into recovery. Now, this is pretty sweet because if you're bored of the ROM you're on, you can press browse compatible ROMs and see as of right now, the CM10 Nightlies are not available on Goo IM servers, only on git.cm which is a different server. And then you can press like stable and look at that, Sanjabot 9 Ice Cream Sandwich is completely stable, no bugs at all. If you want to try AOKP, which is my personal favorite ROM, as well as my wife, you can download it, press begin download, and it'll automatically do like it did the recovery. And when it's done, it'll say, you know, checking MD5, verifying, and if it, MD5 matches, you can press on it, and it'll reboot you into recovery and install it. I'm going to demo that on another device. This isn't going to be the only device I cover in this video. When you're installing an AOSP ROM like CM or AOKP, you have to press download gapps and it will choose the correct gapps for your device. Alternatively, you can go to the home screen and press download gapps package and then press yes. There's a few settings you can play with. Browse all files just means you can go to like, you know, every developer's thing and install. You know, you don't want to do that, trust me. You want to do browse compatible ROMs. It'll only let you install what's available for that specific device. Under settings, you can choose your update frequency. Uh, basically, whenever you reboot your device, it's going to check instantly for an update. And if there is, you'll get a little notification and you can click on the notification and you can update your ROM. It's very, very convenient and it works with several ROMs such as Viper ROM, Fresh ROM, CyanogenMod, AOKP. There's a lot of ROMs that it does work with. Mikey XDA, at least at one point, was trying to get an account with Goo Manager so that way we could get updates on our device. He actually uses a different app called OTA Updater. I don't know if it'll work with CyanogenMod, but this video isn't about that anyway. So that's pretty much all you can do under settings and then you can choose the download path where it puts everything. I just keep it there by default and anytime you're trying to install a ROM manually where it's not available for download under browse compatible ROMs, just make sure you put it in your Goo Manager folder. By clicking flash ROMs, we can now flash a ROM manually. The first time you press it, you're going to be presented with this screen. Since we pressed install open script recovery and you pressed yes and it installed it, rebooted your device or just said recovery installed, you can press I already have one installed. Otherwise, it's going to take you to the install open script recovery thing like I showed you previously. Here's everything that we have in the Goo Manager folder. I was running build 0818 and nightlights get updated every night so there's a new update and I'm gonna go ahead and flash it. What's really cool about Goo Manager and Twerp Recovery is you can actually choose multiple zips. Like we want to flash the ROM and we want to go ahead and flash the Jelly Bean Google add-ons. You don't always have to do that but I have found out that sometimes when you install updates you have to reinstall the Google add-ons as well. I don't know why that happens but just as a precaution you can go ahead and flash it. If you don't choose to flash it it's not a big deal. You'll just reboot and find out that the Google Play Store icon doesn't take you anywhere. So just come back here, choose the G apps by itself, 
and flash it. So we're going to go ahead and do both of these. And I'm going to go ahead and change the battery out of my camera. It's dying. That's the benefit of having multiple batteries for one camera. See? I'm running AOKP on my Transformer Prime, but I'm going to be installing CM10 on it. And that little thing's telling me that my battery's about to die. It's an inception. I got the dead battery in the charger, and I got the freshly charged one in the camera. I'm good to go. Alright, so we're back in action. We've got our two things checked that we're going to install. We're going to press order flash selected. And here is a very, very important step. If you're on the Evo 4 GLTE and you're doing a super wipe, or you're installing an AOSP ROM and you're installing Google add-ons, you want to flash the Google add-on second. So if it's like, say up there, you want to press a little arrow and bring it down. For instance, if we want to flash, you know, all these, which would be ridiculous and we're not going to do, we would flash them in the order that we're going to choose them, like want that one down, the bottom, this one at the top, <laughs> and then that one, and that one, yeah, that's ridiculous, we're not going to do all that. So we've got our things in the order that we're going to flash them, and then press order flash selected. Now you want to make absolute sure that the ROM is on top and the Google add-on is second. If you're using the device such as the EO4 GLTE and you're flashing a super wipe zip, then you need to move the super wipe up top, have the ROM flash second, and then if you have Google add-ons to flash, have those third. So just make sure that everything is in the correct order, and then you can press wipe cache, delvet cache partition if you want to, but you do not have to. Mini ROM, such as Mean ROM for Mikey XDA, automatically wipe the cache. And several other ROMs do as well. If you want to be safe, you can create a backup that's completely up to you and name it something relevant like CM10. Of course, I'm not going to type out all that, but that would automatically create your backup. And if you're coming from AOKP to CyanogenMod, or from CyanogenMod to AOKP, or etc., you want to make sure that you do a factory reset. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck in boot loops, and when you're stuck in a boot loop, you can't get into Goo Manager. You have to hold the volume down, volume up, and power buttons all at the same time until you get into recovery. Well, the bootloader, and then you can choose recovery. Then we're going to go ahead and uncheck that, and uncheck that, press flash, and then press yes and it's going to automatically take you into recovery and at this point you can just leave your device alone you can go get you something to drink get you something to eat use the bathroom do whatever you need to do because for the next few minutes your phone's going to be flashing all those zips making your backup wiping your phone whatever you told it to do it's going to be doing it automatically i don't know why i'm getting errors hmm because your phone is doing everything that you told it to do. Right here. In a second. What the heck? I'm going to have to slow motion that error message and find out what the heck that's trying to say. Install. Goo Manager. There's the Nightly. And then Flash. This is the manual way inside Twerp Recovery. If you're ever stuck and you cannot boot to system and you need to do things manually, you can just hold the volume down, volume up, and power buttons all at the same time. And then it'll say like start, and then you can press the volume down button to get into bootloader, or recovery, then press power, and then it'll take you to here, whatever recovery you have installed, which hopefully is Twerp Recovery. All right, so the ROM is done. At this point, you can choose to go home, press install, and choose the Google add-ons if you have not flashed them already. Sometimes I've installed like CM9 on the Galaxy tab or something, and then you'll press the Google Play Store icon and it'll say not installed. So you'll have to reboot back into recovery, go to your Jelly Bean Google add-ons, and flash those as well. Or ICS if you're using CM9. JB means Jelly Bean, ICS means Ice Cream Sandwich, and GB means Gingerbread. Now I'm going to press reboot system. I'm not sure why it was not rebooting into recovery and doing everything for me. I will show you that that does in fact work. I'm just not sure why it's not working at the moment. This is going to happen anytime something in your system directory changes. It's going to say Android is upgrading. Alrighty, we are now done. We now have the latest Android 4.1.1 CM10 Nightly on our Galaxy Nexus. I'm going to go ahead and show you that while you're in recovery, you can actually charge your device. 
So if your battery doesn't have that much of a charge, you can still flash ROMs and do whatever you need to do, and you don't have to worry about your device dying while you're flashing it if it's plugged in. Now it is recommended to have a full battery, but take it for what it's worth. Alrighty, for the next 12 minutes, I'm gonna have this thing plugged in and charging. The camera was on a tripod and I left it alone, so I don't know why it's shaking like that. All right, as you see, we are almost at a full charge. So yeah, you can do that while you're flashing ROMs, while you're backing up your ROM, wiping, restoring, whatever you're doing in recovery, if it's plugged in, you can charge it. Now I'm gonna switch over to other devices and show you how the update notification system works and etc. All right, so it looks like there is an update for Sam 10 unofficial for my Evo 4 GLTE. Download is complete. If I click on it, it'll ask me what I want to open it with. I'm going to go ahead and choose Goo Manager. ROM Manager came with the ROM by default. I'm actually going to uninstall it. It's just a waste of space, to be honest with you. I already have one installed. And see, it's not in the Goo Manager folder. It's in the Downloads folder. And you can just press Add Zip from the location, navigate to your Downloads folder, and choose the zip. Now we're going to order Flash Selected. I'm not going to touch any of these. And then we're just going to press Flash. Yes. Now it should take us into recovery and do everything for us automatically without touching anything. Like I said, you can just get you something to drink, get you something to eat, come back in like five to 10 minutes and everything will be flashed and ready to go. Oh, see, what the freaking frick? Usually it does that. I don't know why it's not doing it now. Use internal, go up a level, go to my downloads folder, and then flash. And then reboot. I have no clue why Goo Manager is not having it automatically install stuff without touching anything. That's just abnormal and I honestly have never seen it happen before. I'm gonna have to look into that. My table is all scratched up. Still get that, but that's okay. You just press OK and it doesn't come back until you reboot again. Maybe this demonstration will work better. If I open up Goo Manager and I press check for updates, no updates are found. Hmm. So it looks like the last nightly is one that we already have. Actually, it downloaded already. Go back. Try to find it. Flash ROMs. As you can see, it gets updated quite frequently. Alright, let's just go ahead and download it. And there, it lets you know that it's downloading. It would be kind of the same process if it notified you that there's an update available. You would just click on the notification, and then whenever you press begin download, it would show up down there that it's downloading. Alright, download finished, so you can click on it, and it'll automatically select it, and you can press order flash selected, press flash, and then yes. Now hopefully it freaking reboots us into recovery and starts doing everything. Awesome! That's exactly what it should have done on the Galaxy Nexus in the Evo 4 GLTE. I am not saying this for any reason but the truth. I have never had issues flashing an update with Goo Manager and then having it reboot in the recovery and install everything automatically. I have never, ever, ever had an issue with that until recording this video today. I'm definitely going to be getting a screenshot of it and finding out what the error was about. See? Everything is being done automatically once we selected the zips that we wanted to flash in the order that we flashed them and we pressed, you know, flash and yes, everything is done automatically. You can go get you something to drink, get you something to eat, come back, you know, five minutes later and you're completely booted up into Android and <laughs> there's no wait for one step to finish, go do something, come back. Oh. It's been done for several minutes and then move on to the next step and then sit in there with your device the entire time while it's flashing something. No, you do not have to do that. It's great. I freaking love it. Awesome. With this device and every device that I have, 
you can still charge it while you're doing stuff in recovery. So that's not an issue at all. Now if we go to about tablet, you'll see that we're on build 814. So if you're using anything other than Goo Manager and Twerp Recovery, I highly recommend switching. <laughs> right here you can tell that I'm used to the ice cream sandwich and above where everything is to the right. If you like this video, please leave it a rating by clicking the thumbs up button. It motivates me to make more videos and work harder on them. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out. Oh man, that looks so cool. This video was almost an hour long, a little over 59 minutes. If you enjoyed it, all I ask is that you give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Please and thank you.